much longer. I'm going to share a little bit. I have another special guest, and then I'll wrap up shortly. I want to share this poem called Elegy. Oh, this one. Okay. I want to talk about the fact that there are a lot of unmothered grown women. I have been on my own since I was 15. I was blessed to have my Aunt Jackie. I love you. I am so glad that you took the time to be present for me then and now. My Aunt Vicki, who stepped in. But my bio mom was not the most nurturing thing you could give a kid. Um, no, she wasn't. And it did damage. Like her. And every year. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be your real friends. <laughs> 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 I'll find that big now. Sorry. I'm quiet. <laughs> they have forgiven. I'm the word. I don't know her. You forgive her. <laughs> I did not have, I thought about this earlier today because it was a rough night with, uh, Julius Jones' life hanging on. Oh, the Jesus! That was hard. It was a really rough night just to kind of hang on through the night as a black mother mm -hmm. and think about all of the ways that this situation could play out. And I was thinking about his mother, and when it was, once we had heard the clemency, and you know, I was trying to pull myself together to be a presentable human tonight, and for some reason, I couldn't move away from the fact that my mother wouldn't have been praying through the night for me. That somehow, out of all the things that I could have focused on, the thing that I couldn't shake all day was that your mother has never prayed through the night for you. Mm. But you do it <laughs> so easily mm -hmm. for everybody else. And I had to come to a point in my walk um, I went non-contact with my bio mom four years ago, and I had to come to a point where I made a decision that I was almost 40 and I was done trying to convince her that I was worth loving. Mm. And I also recognized what wounds and damage made her who she is. Mm -hmm. And so this is the poem I wrote. Today, I had to read this poem to myself on the days when I start getting angry, because that's what happened. I got angry, and I was really sad, and I was like, I deserved better. And then I remembered what she came from, and I remembered what she had to survive. And I know personally what it is to survive things that alter you forever. And so I choose forgiveness and I chose gratitude. Huh. And I posted that I choose gratitude mm. because no, I didn't get by a mom. But there are about eight black women on this planet that will slap you to sleep over me. <laughs> <laughs> they have bailed me out of jail. They have watched kids, raised kids, sat up all night in delivery rooms. I have never been without what I needed. It just didn't come from where I expected. Come on. And so this is for my mother. I see the mom. Elegy. An elegy for the mother I wanted. For my grandmother who died when my mother was three. The woman that was going to love me died with her. I do not know which of us I am mourning. What of me lies in their coffin. I was a millstone around my mother's neck. But this is the last time I will visit the grave of the girl I could have been, the mother I should have had, the mother I have never got to be. I am done rocking the corpse of me. When my children ask, they will ask who they would have been if I were free to love them Come on. without my eyes on the exits as if no one ever left us, let Ooh. me left. Tell them. The mama I wanted to be is buried in my grandmother's grave. Ooh, Jen. Come on. I loved you as a hunted thing. Feral. Exact. Mm. Oh.